Ohio State's Buckeyes, knocked out of the undefeated class last week by Minnesota, traveled to Madison, Wisconsin, in an effort to renew their bid for the Big Ten title. This is a crucial game for both teams, so far as the 1949 Big Ten championship is concerned. A capacity crowd of 45,000 spectators jams Camp Randall Stadium as Ohio takes command in the first quarter on Wisconsin's 15-yard line. There's a pass from Crawl to Haig. Good for 11 yards to the Wisconsin four-yard line. It's the fullback, Fred Morrison, plunging four yards on this play for a touchdown for Ohio State. The try for the extra point by Haig is good, and Ohio State leads seven to nothing. Later in the same quarter, here's Ohio climaxing a march. It's Clark going a yard now to the Wisconsin three-yard line. Now here's a pass by Jimmy Clark in the end zone, incomplete. So let's try another running play. And again, it's Mr. Clark, who this time bucks off guard for three yards for a touchdown for Ohio State. And again, Haig's extra point is good. Ohio State 14, Wisconsin nothing. Now in the fourth quarter, here's Wisconsin trying. Petruska's going to throw a pass. It's intercepted by Widows of Ohio State. And here's a good run back by Widows to the Wisconsin 24-yard line. There's Cleavy going four yards now to the Wisconsin 20. Jerry Crawl takes over for a little while now. This play is good for one yard to the Wisconsin 19. Now it's Crawl again. And here's a good 10-yard run by Mr. Crawl to the Wisconsin 9-yard line. The ball goes to Pandel Savick. On a handoff to Cleavy, it's no gain. Now it's Jerry Crawl, and again it's no gain. But Ohio State is not to be denied. Here's Jerry Crawl throwing a pass to Savick. It's good for a touchdown for Ohio State. And the final score after the conversion was Ohio State 21, Wisconsin nothing. <laughs> <laughs>